Yes. This video is an addendum or update for my MinNASA project. I think it's addendum number three because I just uh, run across some interesting facts and made a few changes to my quadcopter. Number one is uh, I was experiencing some occasional drift to one side when I first started to fly my quad. It would sort of drift to the left or to the right depending on the day. I don't know what was going on about that but it would drift and continue to drift for a while and I keep giving it stick input and eventually the drift would go away. So I'm going to show you what I found out about that and uh, I'll just give you a brief answer in case you don't want to watch the whole video but uh, the issue was that the gyros in the master control or the main control for uh, DJI NASA M Lite have to warm up so those gyros have to warm up uh, and get to zero before you start flying or you, you might experience some drift and I'll show you what's going on there okay issue number two was and you can probably see this in some of my video that when I'm flying the uh, the compass rows would sort of just roll around aimlessly at times and also the home arrow would kind of just rotate around where it really didn't know where it was at didn't know where home was and it made it hard for me to fly back home sometimes because I didn't know where it was uh, what I found out about that is that the software for the MinNASA project in the Minim OSD is actually calculating the direction from the GPS and not from the magnetometers but as soon as you start moving of course then you have a lock and it'll, it can tell the direction, it can calculate the direction you're going and everything seems to be working again uh, I found in the code that there was actually a section in there where you can tell it to calculate the heading from the magnetometers but that particular function uh, is still not working totally correctly because it depends on another parameter which isn't implemented and that is tilt so if you have like roll or pitch involved uh, then that will throw off your heading even though it's calculated from the magnetometers if they haven't uh, implemented tilt into that function so it's not totally accurate unless you're level uh, so I will discuss that as well as you can see I moved my GPS to the top right here I used to have it on a little podium right here a little stand uh, or pedestal I guess they call it and I removed that because sometimes it was getting in the way or I'd bump it on something or if the quad would flip it would get knocked off so I put the GPS right here on the center of gravity and I had to change my XYZ coordinates uh, but nicely the X and Y are now just zero and the Z is like a negative two centimeters because uh, the center of gravity is like two centimeters below the uh, compass module so it's actually easier to enter the parameters and it keeps it out of the way it doesn't function any differently I still get as many satellites and everything's working the same so I just changed the position okay but let's talk about those two issues uh, more in depth and I'll show you on the bench what's going on with those okay let's address problem number one which is the uh, gyro drifting now I found this remark on RC groups by Orson One and he says the problem with the drift is with the gyros and and he shows a way to check it so here's how we'll check it now this is assuming of course you've already calibrated your quadcopter and everything else is working it's just drifting when you go to fly it first so first thing I did was I turned on my radio and when I plug in the quad here I'm gonna go ahead and first plug it into the USB port so it's plugged into the LED module here, it's plugged into the USB port. Okay, now I'm going to power it on. And when I do, I'm going to start the timer on my radio. Okay, I've started the timer on my radio right here, and it's counting down in seconds. Okay, I'm going to go to the tools menu right here and do IMU calibration. And you can see one of the gyros right there 
is like he says it's more than two out of whack here I mean instead of being zero it's like minus five and it was higher than that to start with and you can see it slowly settling down now it's already been almost a minute here on my radio it's already been almost a minute and this gyro is off so say I got uh, I got my green light, my satellite lock, everything's ready. I could start flying right now, think everything was fine, but this gyro being that much off is going to cause drift, and the quadcopter will probably start drifting. And it's on the x coordinate, so it's probably going to drift negative to the left. And that's what's been happening to me. Now you can see this calibrate button down here hasn't uh, lit up yet. So these figures are, are out of whack right now. A couple of the others are a little off. This is like minus one. So they're all just kind of settling down right now. It's been two minutes and 21 seconds now. Okay, now I got a zero there on my X, close to zero, 0 0.1. And I've got 0 0.9 down here on Z. So it's looking a lot better. All of them are below one right now. There, the calibration button just lit up, so now that would be considered calibration. And now I've got uh, 2 minutes and 49 seconds, so that's about how long I should wait before I start flying to avoid any drift problems. Now I have done this calibration several times, pushed this button and done that right there, and uh, it doesn't make any difference. Next time the quadcopter is cold and I plug it in, you know, this axis is going to be off again on this gyroscope. So, pushing the calibration doesn't help. I mean, I can check the, I, the IMU status. I've done that several times. That doesn't help. It's just every time you turn it on and they're cold, they have to warm up until the gyros are within their normal operating range. So that's all there is to it, and that's why it drifts. Okay, let's talk about problem number two. Now, if you look at this footage, from my quadcopter you can see that when we're using the heading calculated from the GPS that uh, it drifts around so the compass rose is drifting around the home arrow is drifting around and that's the way you normally see it with the min NASA project uh, but I looked on RC groups and I found this guy whose name is JR63 who seems to be involved with the code he said as the heading is calculated out of the GPS data and currently not from MAG, you need some meters forward flight to correct the heading. Okay, so I got to looking around and went to the Min NASA project page. And right here on the Min NASA project page, you can see that there's some lines here. And uh, this is the way it normally is with the defined for GPS protocol UBX commented out and we're using the DGI one so that's normal and the next line here is where we're talking about calculating the heading now you can either calculate it from the GPS which is normal and the from mag is commented out the defined for that is commented out or you can go into this OSD DJI H file and remove the comment marks and define DJI heading from the magne magnetometer, recompile it, and then upload it to your Minim OSD. And uh, I have done that, and now I would like to show you a little comparison uh, how the two look. In other words, the heading calculated from the uh, GPS versus the heading calculated calculated from the magnetometers and there's a good and bad to each of them and I'll just show you what that looks like this is what it normally looks like on your OSD when the uh, heading is calculated from the GPS and you can see everything is moving around and pretty much it's random the arrow is moving around for the home and the compass is moving around okay now as you start to walk forward you can see they settle out so the GPS is now got forward motion and the software can calculate where the compass heading is and where the home is so the, they're pretty solid now this is tilting it when you tilt it there's little effect 
and this is opposed to the other one when it's calculated from the magnetometer. So there's little effect when you're using the GPS as far as tilt and everything looks good. So now it, here it is with the magnetometer calculation and you can see it's pretty solid just sitting there the home arrow is pretty much solid of course we're at home so it doesn't really know where it is and the uh, north you can see that steady now as we're walking forward we still have pretty steady response from the compass the compass rose is showing north and as we turn it goes west and then south uh, the home arrow is accurate it's pointing back towards home everything's looking good Okay, here it is with the tilt though. So with this mode, the tilt does affect the reading. So when you're tilting, it will throw off the readings because they haven't implemented correction for tilt in the code. So if you turn it on, you'll have to keep that in mind. So there's the two choices. If you're calculating from the GPS, it's going to be bad when the vehicle is stationary, but good when it's moving forward, and good when it's tilting. If you are calculating the heading from the mag, then it's going to be good when it's stationary, uh, good when it's moving forward, but bad when it's tilting. So you make the choice, decide which one you want, and you can, of course, review my video to see one that's favorable for you. Thanks for watching, and leave any comments you want under the video, and we'll see you next time.